All right, in the last video, we talked about client server architecture. And in this one, we're going to talk about the client, mm, client server software plus, I ran out of room, didn't I? I should have started over here. Enter face. Ooh, my writing's already starting to go downhill. All right, so I'll try to change that moving forward here. That's pretty bad. So my content moving forward won't be trying to convince people uh, about going into different roles. Uh, that's going to be up to you. I've already created enough content there. The, the honest truth is most people aren't, aren't going to make it. All right, my content is going to be helping you understand the, the the foundation and the specifics of the roles and the specifics of every data role every data role um, is SQL. And if you can't go into an interview and just knock out the questions, you're not going to get a job. And the data engineer and the um, machine learning engineer and the data analyst and the DBA, anything with data is not going to happen. All right. So now you know. All right. So back to our discussion on client service software and this thing we call the interface. So let's move down here and create our, this is our laptop. We created a laptop last time. Oh, look at that laptop. It looks, it looks like mine. It's in such bad shape. All right, so we've got laptop connected to. Let's make our database server. And this is a database server. And to denote that, what we'll do is put a database here. All right, that's a cool database. Now, this is a D. B server. We just said that. It's not a web server. It's not an app server. So what does that mean? It means the only thing we should have on this box, box is a server, the just terms we use. The only thing we should have on this server, or this box is DB software. And it's not any kind of software. It's server software. All right, so for example, there are different versions of SQL Server you can install on this box. All right, the standard, there's enterprise, there's all kinds of versions. Most companies use standard. All right, so what does that mean? It means that this server software has all the specifics and all the mechanics to store the data. This is where the data is stored in this database. In IT, we call this the back end. This is called back end processing. This is where the data is stored, right? There is no data stored on your laptop. As a matter of fact, if you were to download data from the server like this and store it on your laptop, at many companies, they would fire you because this is not a secure tool. This is a secure environment, all right? This is often housed behind firewalls and all kinds of other shit. All right. So what do we have here? We've got our client and now we need to connect to our database, right? So we need, a, we need something on the client to do that. We need an interface, which is software. So the interface, enter face, and this is software. And all the different vendors, we talked about this the other day, whether it's SQL Server and Microsoft, Oracle, and MySQL Oracle and their uh, suite of products, have different tools to connect to this. So we're going to say this is, this is SQL Server. And the tool to connect to on our client here, we're going to install, we're going to install S, S, M, S, to connect and do everything we need to do with this database server. And this stands for SQL Server Management Studio. It's just the tool, right? Now, there are different tools. If this were a MySQL server, if this were a MySQL box, then we would use a product called Workbench. 
That is this interface, the name of the interface, it's called Workbench, just like the name of this interface here, is called SQL Server Management Studio and SSMS for short. Okay. So this is how we connect. So if we were over here and we need to do some stuff, um, type in some stuff, right? And write in a query. The query goes from my laptop to here where it's processed, All right? This is a query. And a query is code that says, give me some data or make a change to some data or insert some data. That's what a query is. And then the processing happens. And then it comes back here. And these are the results. And then I get the results here on my laptop, right? So there are the results, right? So we've got this back and forth. Now I did not mention, so we've got, this is the, the back end. So this is called what? The front end. Oh, that is really spelled horribly. This is called the front end. Sorry, I missed that when we were talking about back end and front end. All right. So we've got a lot going on here, but this is stuff like you just, you absolutely have to know this. Like this can't be, this has to be second nature. Right. All this has to be second nature if you're going to work in the data space. All right. So what's the power of a relational database? SQL Server is a relational database. So what's the power of this relational database? Let's say this is SQL Server. This is a SQL Server. Uh, let's say it's, um, we'll call it uh, Enterprise Edition or Standard Edition. What's the power of this? Why is it everywhere? Well, you can create apps that can connect to the server and do this back and forth return like we can up here, right? This queries results. And you can do it from apps, app, we'll call this apps everywhere. And we're talking about millions to billions of back and forth transactions in a minute. And that's why it's so powerful. All right. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments section. Thanks and have a great day.